Hey, greetings, performance reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And I have the Mila Triflex HX2, which is the newer version of Mila's cordless stick vacuum. Now, at the time of filming, this is not officially out here in the United States, but I managed to get my hands on one. Anyways, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and unbox this for your viewing pleasure. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And uh, definitely comment below if you have an HX2, I'd love to hear from you, or if you're considering this, why you're considering this over some of the other stick vacuum options. Now, if you're not familiar with Mila, they're a German appliance manufacturer that so happens to make vacuums. They've been in business since 1899. Their saying is, "Imes are besser or forever better, and they continue to make their products better and better. So this promises to not only live up to the family saying, I'm or besser, but be better than the HX1. What we did like about the previous Triflex, as it's illustrated on the box right here, is that it had a low center of gravity when you were using it, and then you could convert it when you needed to use tools, which was awesome. Problem with older version was it kind of lacked a little bit of power. So again, this promises to remedy that. So this should be a win-win. One thing they definitely improved upon is there is a carrying handle on the box. Not that you're gonna be carrying this around. Let's see what's in the box. And before I open the box, I just wanna say, if you do wanna get one of these, I'll put a link below to the, your local Mila dealer and how to find your local dealer. There'll also be a link below to this on Amazon whenever it becomes actually available. So right away, Man, this had a nice presentation. They give you a quick start guide right here, showing that we must first charge the battery for four hours. So we're gonna have to do that. You have that, then they have the manual. They really want you to read this. This is a thick manual for a cordless machine. That is really thick. We have a US Japan plug. Yep, yep, it is multi-voltage, and it has their logo on it. Very good attention to detail, as we've come to expect with Mila. Oh, looks like they've kept their previous dock, which is okay. This dock was really slick. Let's just show you off real quick. So you can mount this on the wall, and then once you have it all level and stuff, you can just slide it like so. And then the bottom of this, has a nice spot to tuck any slack of the cord in there. So very slick from Mila. We have a yellow sticker here. Up oh, here's your hose handle. Three speeds this time, instead of four like the original. It's all right, we only ever used high. There's a tool holder clip right there. That's interesting. We have the cleaner head. They're very proud that this is made in Germany. What's cool about this cleaner head is just how easily this pops open. I'm just gonna show that real quick. That press roller just pulls right out. Nice and easy, and it's also on rubber mounts, so that if you do have the brush roller on on hard floor, it's not gonna wreck the bearings. It's be a little softer on hard floor. This is one of the few vacuums that you probably leave the brush roller on on hard floor for it to clean. Very easy to put that back on. And then of course, this does have an LED strip light in front. Under the box is another electric head. This does not have a brush roller that comes out. And this head only works on the cordless machine. This will not work on their plug-in canisters. You have an ultra-wide poultry tool with limb pickers. We have the machine itself, which promises to be different. We'll have to take a look at that. So right away, they've changed this part right here to be a little bit more clearly labeled. I really like. Oh. They've added a popcorn maker. 
No, it looks like that. It's, there's a nice QR code there if you forget your manual. So I see what they've improved upon. So what happens is after you dump your dust, you can then twist it a little further and lift your filter. And that's going to hopefully clean your filter screen when you pull that out like that. So that is a nice welcome improvement. Still no dust bag, unfortunately, on this. So there's the vacuum itself. You get a tool holder to put on the base, which is nice. Then we get a nice sturdy wand. Then of course we have the battery, just like the quick start guide said, you have to charge this for four hours before putting it in the machine. All right, that's everything you get in the box. You get the motor, the charging stand, the cleaner head. On the cat and dog model like this, you're going to get the handheld electric tool, a wand, an upholstery tool, dusting brush, crevice tool, handle, manual, a tool clip for the wand, then you get a tool holder that goes on the base station itself, and of course, your charging cable. Real quick, I just wanna show you a little tip with this. Before you put this on the wall, make sure you put your tool holder on and then put your tools in place, which are even marked with which two tool goes where. Now you can choose to put this here if you wish, but it's a little floppy. I think it's probably a bad idea. And then they included some nice, very long two inch screws with nice mollies to put that on the wall. I just want to say right out of the box, this thing gives me major Mila art vibes, having the tools right there. And if you've never seen Amila Art, go check out my video where I talk about the quirks and features of Mila's forgotten stick vacuum. In case you were wondering what the HX2 looks like next to some of the other previous stick vacuums that Mila has put on the market, that's what it looks like for size comparison. This is one of the longer things I think I've tested with the suction gauge on the channel. Let's see if this gets better suction than the previous generation. All right, it would appear when testing that there's a suction relief valve in here that opens up rather than turning the motor up or down through electronics like the competitors do, it actually has a mechanical relief valve that's opening up, which means this suction test is incredibly inaccurate. I saw the needle spike to about 25, almost to 30 inches of working vacuum. But again, it, you could see the, like the velocity of the needle was going up steadily and then that relief valve would open up and then kill it. What's interesting is this doesn't advertise as having an auto setting, even though it did throttle itself up and down automatically through its electronics as well. The sealed number was about 45 to 50. Again, that relief valve kind of hindered that test. So I, I think if we say 25 inches of working vacuum and about 45 to 50 inches of sealed vacuum is accurate. But again, without going in there and disassembling this and plugging that relief valve, it's kind of hard to test. And I don't know if that would cause harm to the machine doing that as well. So I'm not going to do that. We're just going to show these numbers and understand that they're, it might be more powerful than I'm able to test. All right, remember this is just an unboxing and first look. This is the kind of North American premiere of this machine. I want you to hear the real sound of the machine. You may have noticed my voice has changed. We're also going to pick up some fresh animal hair and some breakfast cereal. Just see how it does. pretty well. Now if you're like me, you have a lot of hard floor in your house. So let's just see if he'll pick up the pet hair and the uh, sand in the hard floor. Of course when I lowered that, it, we had a breeze come in through the door here, but let's just see how she does. No sand left over. It got the pet hair. You could actually see the airflow of this machine as that pet hair flew in there. And that was kind of one of the advantages 
of the previous generation is because they don't have 10,000 cyclones on here, they're going with a one or a two cyclone design. This machine has significantly more airflow than the competition. And that leads to its cleaning ability. And I don't talk about airflow a lot on the channel, but when we're dealing with battery operated things, it tends to be more of a deciding factor than plug-in machines. So I think it's safe to say my first impressions are this lives up to the Mila name. I want to give some final thoughts on the HX2. Tremendous improvements generationally here versus the original HX1. And I believe if you're cross-shopping the two, you should definitely go with the HX2 if your pocketbook allows it. Now, the reason I say that is, well, the HX1 is still all over the market and not a bad option, but this is better. And Mila's saying is, I'm Zerbesser, which is forever better. So again, I'm not surprised that this is better. I want to disclose something. Even though I have a large amount of Mila stuff in the background, I don't work for Mila. I'm not associated with them in any way. And when I was at the VDTA, they seemed frankly annoyed that I wanted to film in their booth. And again, I will have a full review video coming on this machine, but I hope you enjoyed the first look at this. Now, if you are looking to buy one of these, I want you to go to your local dealer. They're not going to be available online at first. Your local dealers are going to have them before they're available on their website. There seems to be some confusion from Mila in North America when this machine is launching. It's available now. This has a US plug on it. It is available to order on Mila's internal dealer network. But for whatever reason, Mila USA and Mila Germany are not communicating of when this product is launching. So I'm going to release this video when I feel it's appropriate. I did ask them if there was an embargo or when I should release this and I really couldn't get a response. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that bell notification so you can see when the full review drops and we're always doing cool stuff with vacuum cleaners. We do videos about once a week. Have yourself a wonderful day.